To find the formal charges for each element here in ClO4 minus the perchlorate ion, we use this Lewis structure and then this formula here. So let's figure out this oxygen here with the single bond first. So oxygen on the periodic table, it's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons. We'll subtract unbonded valence electrons, two, four, six. Those aren't involved in chemical bonds. So we have six of those. Then we'll subtract one half of the bonded valence electrons. These are the valence electrons between the atoms. They're involved in the chemical bond, they're shared. So we have two of those. Six minus six is zero minus one. That gives us a minus one as the formal charge on this oxygen here with the single bond. Next, let's do the oxygen with the double bond. So the oxygen with the double bond, we still have six valence electrons, it's oxygen. We'll subtract unbonded valence electrons. We have two, four of those, and then we'll subtract the bonded valence electrons, actually one half of the bonded valence electrons. We have two, four of those. Six minus four, that's two minus two, that equals zero. So the formal charge on this oxygen right here is zero. And in fact, each one of these is the same. They have double bonds. So all of the oxygens with double bonds, formal charges of zero. Finally, we'll find the formal charge on the chlorine here in the center of the Lewis structure. So for chlorine, chlorine's in group 17, sometimes called 7A, seven valence electrons, and then we'll subtract the unbonded valence electrons. For the chlorine here, they're all involved in chemical bonds with the oxygen atoms, so we don't have any. We'll subtract from that one half of the bonded. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So seven minus seven equals zero. So the formal charge on this chlorine here is zero. And chlorine can have more than eight valence electrons here. It's an exception to the octet rule. So at this point, we've assigned formal charges to each of these elements here in ClO4 minus. We can see if we add all the formal charges up, we have a minus one. That makes sense because this ion has a negative charge. There are other ways you could have drawn this Lewis structure. However, when you calculate the formal charges, you'll find that there are not many zeros, that you'll have other numbers here. And our goal with formal charges is to have them as close to zero as possible or as close to the charge on the ion. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.